Hello and welcome. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a throne room for your V Rising castle. This video is the first in a five part series. Each part will show a different example and time lapse of how each one was made. I'll be explaining the process throughout each build so that you too can make an awesome throne room for your V Rising castle. I've also made several other videos on castle building and I'll be linking those in the description below. All right, now let's get started. Our first throne room build is what I like to call the classic. This throne room is on the smaller side using only two floors for the build. This layout is great for anyone who wants an easy layout that is sure to impress. Let's see how it's made. All right, so for the beginning of this build, I obviously have to start on the bottom floor. The ground floor itself is always the uh, core part of most throne rooms, whether the throne room is on the first floor or the second floor or the third floor of your castle. And you're gonna quickly see why once we get further into this build. Um, I decide to go with two staircases, straight long staircases facing northward and I decided to also move the heart into the little hidden area behind or under the throne area. If you notice in this build, I also use a lot of invisible foundation in order to uh, make sure that the spacing is uh, being acknowledged by things like pillars. So as we get further into this build, I'll start setting up pillars and stuff like that. But yeah, the setup initially is pretty simple and straightforward. Um, lots of windows on the sides. You can put pretty much anything you want on the windows. It doesn't have to be something that is um, maybe as fancy, but yeah, as soon as we start going into the pillars here, I start immediately messing around with the carpet. Part of the reason for this is that I wanted to make sure that the carpet is kind of fulfilling that fantasy of a grand throne room, but in a classic style. The reason why I call this a classic throne room is because I've seen this throne room layout uh, be very prominent, especially for like beginners and new peeps to the game. I think the reason why is because of its accessibility and its simple setup. And honestly, it looks pretty good. I really like this throne room setup myself as well. And not every throne room has to be all the way up to the third floor or even just sitting on the first floor. So I wanted to go with a happy medium here just for this example. As you can see, I start placing some chairs and furnishings. Laying the carpet down early on was really helpful. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but if you place down carpet in your castle, you get a movement speed bonus. So with me moving back and forth and running around, that definitely probably saved me maybe 20 seconds of time total, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> At this point, I started messing around more with the furnishings. I started, you know, focusing more on the walls, adding curtains, adding, you know, different elements to kind of fill up the walls in a way that kind of gave it a little bit more life. Now with these statues throughout this build, you'll see me move them a lot. Uh, sometimes when you place things like statues, you're not quite sure what's going to be around them and you end up having to move your first furnishing or in this case, the statues. Uh, many times throughout the process in order to kind of get it to fit the way you want. Notice that when I'm putting up the chandeliers and lighting and stuff like that, I'm also kind of experimenting not just with the placement of the lighting, but with the colors because I decided to go with the red here just to kind of fit the thematic of the room. Uh, I didn't have to go with red. I could have gone with a natural light color and it still would have looked fine, but I just decided to go with red this time. You'll also notice that I changed the flooring several times throughout this build. It's not uncommon for me to swap the flooring uh, halfway through a build or maybe in the very beginning several times or even at the very end. Um, you never really know what your castle is going to end up looking like until you're absolutely done. And with just the two staircases leading up to the second floor and then having two rows of two tiles uh, sit back there just it gives you plenty of space to work with. I could have also maybe closed the space up top a little bit more around the throne to kind of give it more of a closed off feel, but I didn't think it was really necessary um, just for this tutorial anyway. At this point, 
point I was having trouble trying to figure out what kinds of items I wanted to place everywhere and I started experimenting with the carpets several times and the rugs and things like that. Um, a lot of times when you put together your initial carpet idea you might have to end up undoing it or redoing it or even kind of changing stuff up here. Um, but yeah, I ended up messing with the carpet several times throughout this build because you want um, an air of symmetry whenever you're trying to create a throne room. I think the most important part of creating a throne room is probably having some kind of symmetry because otherwise you don't really have that like grand feel or like that regal feel to a throne room. I added a little bit of plants in this area behind the throne. It's a little bit plain. And I didn't want to go too crazy for this build. Again, you see me swap out the carpet colors. I was very indecisive about that. In hindsight, I probably could have kept the black and been fine, but I didn't want the room to be too dark. Especially since the red was already a very dark color uh, within the room in several areas. So I didn't want all the colors to bleed together. So I had to be very careful about how I placed my furnishings. Again, it was very important to me to have symmetry on both sides. Now, it's not just a important to me part, it's a important to the build part because, like I said, that's, the symmetry is everything with a throne room. Um, this is one of the few times where I'll say that, like, symmetry is, like, extremely important. I've had builds before of, like, smaller areas of the castles that uh, are not symmetrical, but that is by design. But I feel like with the throne room, if something isn't symmetrical, it, it really throws the vibe off really, really fast because of how flashy it is or how important it is, uh, especially, you know, for a vampire castle, you want that throne room to look awesome. At this point, I started uh, working on the upper pillar lights and making sure that the lighting on the second floor was sufficient and of course i started going all the way around here at this point i started working underneath the throne now a lot of people are gonna say oh but isn't the throne room all that you can see with the throne yes technically but you can't really overlook areas where the throne hides so having little areas like this behind your throne room I think is really really beneficial because it adds a little bit of character behind your throne um, some of the things that I was reading in some of the comments previously in my other videos is how people tend to hide their castle heart because they want to keep it secret and safe and I thought that was kind of an interesting idea I usually love to put my castle hearts fully on display but in this case I decided to go with the hide the heart method and put it underneath the staircases and underneath the second floor so uh, each room here is kind of like a chill out room, uh, kind of, you know, a relaxing area to chat and chill or relax or just kind of get away from everyone. Um, I decided to put a little bit of, you know, bookshelves or I, I think I, at the end here, I ended up putting like bookshelves and stuff on the walls uh, so that, you know, you can kind of give this air of fantasy. And also what's really important is that both rooms are pretty much exactly the same. They're very symmetrical, but I use different paintings on the walls because you don't want paintings and things like that to be too redundant in your castle, I think. Especially so close together on the same floor. Um, so yeah, having the same layer of symmetry when it comes to the layout, but having different items definitely adds a little bit more character and as you can see here, we're pretty much wrapping up the end of this first build. It looks very, very nice. I actually ended up putting a crown on my castle heart, um, which honestly looked pretty cool. Some people put lights in there. They put all types of stuff. Uh, I've seen people use um, balefire sconces on like statues, like above statues and things like that, for example. And they'll like use it as like a crown on their uh, vampire statues. But yeah, this is this has definitely been a very nice build. Um, for the most part, it's fairly simple in the layout. Nothing too crazy. Um, you just have a staircase, uh, three squares, another staircase, and then uh, those staircases lead up to um, basically a two by four 
setup of squares where the castle throne is in the center. I hope that this first example of the classic has been very helpful for you guys to just kind of give some insight into the kind of thought process I go into when I build the castle throne rooms. And I hope that this is somewhat inspirational for those of you who might be newer to the game or maybe those of you who haven't really experimented much with throne rooms. I personally don't usually uh, put down a throne room in my castles like I, in whenever I build a castle uh, purely for leisure and not any kind of functionality. Uh, a lot of times I don't even include a castle throne because I just want to have other things in those areas. Um, but yeah, I, if, I know it's a very common thing to have in people's castles, especially on servers. So I wanted to make sure to create this series in order to go over that. Uh, I've also had questions regarding it and I've had people request videos like this. So yeah, there's going to be five parts. The reason why I decided to break this video up into five parts is because there are so many vastly different examples of castle thrones out there that really do not look like one another um they but they all share the same common theme of symmetrical you know things being symmetrical for the most part and even if like the exact items aren't used the shape of the items is similar enough that it looks symmetrical and that's probably one of the most important things like i said earlier about throne rooms themselves Thanks so much for watching this video going over how to build a throne room. This is part one, of course. Part two will be linked right at the end of the video, so make sure to click on that. And for those of you who don't know, my name is Shiloh Q. I'm a Shiloh Eats Quaintly Reaper and Guide to the Underworld. I stream three times a week on Twitch Kick and YouTube, and I usually stream V Risings nowadays on Wednesdays. So feel free to stop in, say hello. I'm usually castle decorating on stream, and I'll see you there. And as always, Sholo out.